and hello everyone I've got a couple of things to talk about today I'm currently on the way to Graham's hopefully it'll dry up a little bit this afternoon and um, we'll get a few things recorded for you but first of all I'd like to start with that I've got myself some new gloves that they're made by Held, these ones they cost me nearly £50 probably about $85 uh, they've got like a gel padding on the knuckles and in the scaphoid area so far that I've had them they've been quite comfortable uh, during the summer now they're an absolute godsend because the whole top area is uh, all perforated and so just lets all the, all the air in which is a lot nicer to the previous set of gloves I had where it was just like a leather top and there was no, there was no air circulation through the glove whatsoever but um, yeah, so we've got that, that's new, um, I've got a set of bar ends on the way to add to the bike, so I'll probably do a video of that. Oh yeah, I've, uh, I've gone all patriotic and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll see it later on when I go out with Graham and get some footage of him of it. But uh, behind me right now, attached to the bars that normally have my back box on, is a England flag for the World Cup um, so I've got that on the back flapping I did actually put two on and subsequently within the first minute of riding the first one snapped off uh, like the whole pole has the flag on it completely snapped and all I was left when I put my hand back there was just a slightly table, cable tied um, bottom bit that normally would clip over your window so I've only got one I had two, now I have one, but probably looks a little bit silly, but I don't really care. It's behind me and I'm in a helmet. To be honest with you, while on the helmet, I don't really care about anything um, from the viewers outside, just because you're in a bit of an enclosed bubble. I'm really, really looking forward to, uh, in a couple of weeks, getting this recording done for this video that, that Graham has... Uh, so kindly advertised everywhere and I've um, decided to do. I was on holiday at the time, um, limited amounts of internet and uh, I got back and he was like I'll have a look on uh, the YouTube motor vlogging group um, at the post he put on there and I read through it all and I was like that sounds fantastic so I'm really looking forward to starting to record that I have no idea what he's got planned on this one. He's going completely solo on the planning of this. I'm just going to be, when it comes to recording, I'm just going to be there and help out and be in it. But he's taken, I think he's taken this whole project on on his own accord. We'll have to see what happens with that. But hopefully that'll be good. And hopefully, I think we've got about two or three videos sent in now. Well, everybody's on the, in all the videos has said, you know, the words. I'm not going to say it now. I'm not going to. I'm going to let you hear me say it in the video but they've all sent in the main part um, with a few others doing doing some other phrases or words from the from the advert hopefully we'll get a few more in so we'll be able to be able to put a full video together with a lot more faces in it because because it'll be it'll be quite good it's nice when you have videos that involve involve everyone from the community because motorbiking is a community thing. Yeah, you can ride on your own forever, but to be part of a community is you feel you don't feel a minority, you feel of one of many. And so it's definitely better when you have videos that involve multiple people. But, yeah, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to that. Just signing off now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!